Okay, so now we're going to talk about sales reps in QuickBooks. So first of all, how do we get to our sales rep lists? We go to lists, down to customer and vendor profile list, and we have our sales reps list right there. When we set up our sales reps, they can be a vendor, an employee, or an other name. Uh, and I don't suggest using that. So sales rep name, okay, so again, if it pulls from the vendor list, we have them already set up, or employee list in here. If it's a new setup, so let's say it's a new vendor, new employee, we're gonna say Greg Smith. Now when I hit tab, it allows me to either set that vendor, employee, vendor, or other name up, or I can do it as a quick add and just choose. So again, other, I would not suggest using, right? Because we can't run an accounts payable report for other, or you can't pay on a paycheck to other, okay? So either set them up as a vendor or an employee. Now, once I have Greg Smith set up in here, it will add them to him to my employees list here. So when I come open up my employee list, I have Greg Smith there, but it's just his name, no other information. Okay. Then we have the sales reps initials. So generally on the sales forms, when we're selling things, the initials are what show up or on the customer level. When we associate it with the sales rep, we see just the initials. And then sales rep type, of course, is employee in here. Okay, so sales reps are very important in QuickBooks to use. It's a really powerful field. So what happens is that on our sales type transactions, we can actually go in there and we can add the sales rep field right, to those transactions. And when we put the information in here, of course, that makes it something we can filter reports by. Okay, so where we can set up a default is at the customer level. If I edit any customer, I can come in here to my additional information tab and I have my default sales rep. Okay, so again, that can be a default. So every time I create an invoice, right, to Kern's Lighting, the sales rep will default fill in for me. Okay, so that's a default. I can edit it obviously on a per transaction basis here. On the list here, it's also really important, okay, because let's say we wanted to show all customers that were associated with a particular rep. So I can come in here and customize my columns and I can add the sales rep field. Oops, I went past it. Rep. <laughs> Okay, and now that sales rep field's in here. So again, I know that, you know, store 34 called in. This is MK's customer, all right? I can also customize the columns and add sales rep down here as well. Okay, so again, who sold, let's look at all invoices. Okay, so customize columns, add the rep. So who sold these invoices, I can have the rep there on the screen as well. Okay. Now, if you don't keep track of sales reps in QuickBooks, you may still want to use this field for something else. So I have some people who use this field. Um, as an example, they want to know order types and every single invoice is a different order type. It's either a corporate order or, and that's customer type, that's not a good idea. It's a, maybe like a, a ring or a jacket order or something like that. So they use it for something else occasionally because again, it's a field that's really powerful. We can set it up to add, we can add it to columns in QuickBooks. We can also go in and run reports by this. So I can come in and run a profit and loss report and I can filter it for sales, for rep, I always say sales rep, I can filter it for rep, so I can say I want it for multiple reps or just one particular rep, okay? If I wanted to, I can show it across the top, so if I wanted to remove this filter by sales rep and show for all sales reps, so now I'm running a P&L by sales rep, all right, so that's something that we can do in here. So again, it's a very powerful field. If you're not using it for something and you're trying to get some data out of QuickBooks, let's figure out how to use this field in an effective way for you. 
but definitely uh, worth using. So that is sales reps in QuickBooks.